welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. The fuck are you doing, man? I have, to, I, I got done. Fucking come over on the side of the dumpster and take a shit. I got diarrhea. Diarrhea. I got diarrhea. Diarrhea. I got diarrhea. Diarrhea. I got diarrhea. Diarrhea. Fuck. Burning the stuff in the dumpster. I will pick it up also. Burning the stuff in the dumpster. I will pick it up also. Burning the stuff in the dumpster. I got diarrhea. Diarrhea. I got diarrhea. Diarrhea. Yeah. That's really good. I laughed the whole time. Ali Zizer. Oh, yeah. Ollie's such a champ at these. He's really good at them, man. I thought diarrhea. Machines with them. Machines with them. All the haters. I gotta F tell you, I was in Houston yesterday, and yeah. Machines Within has taken over Pustin. People yeah. love it. It's a smash hit song. It is. We've got some news about that coming up later. Oh my show, gosh, I can't yeah, wait. It's exciting. Um, I'm coming into my home stretch. What a year of touring. Goodness. Holy shit. Thank you, everybody that came to all the shows this year. It really was a blast for me. Um, once in a lifetime experience to go on a, a tour like that, you know, a theater tour. It's Never huge. Done it before. It's pretty cool. Um, here's how it's uh, winding down for me. This comes out this is Wednesday. I'm in Riverside tonight at the Fox. Uh, I think it's called the Fox Theater. And then they released 50 more tickets. That's Whoa. it for, at the Will Turn. So Man, the Will Turn's show... gonna be sold out it... on Saturday, the 25th. That's gonna be such a crazy show. It's Everybody wild. we know in LA has texted us yeah it is such that is such a huge deal gene i cannot wait for that i'm excited for it um yeah big deal big deal gene you're kind of a big deal if you're playing the will turn well i don't know about that but i am excited to do it um and then don't be modest your jeans are extra tight then in a couple weeks i go to fartnix i haven't been there in a while yeah fartnix arizona as opposed to uh, i'm going to do <laughs> the other fartnix just four shows at Stand Up Live, I think two are sold out already. Great venue. Great venue. Um, that is a great club. It's like, it's a club, but it's basically a small theater. But it's a um, small theater. So just Friday, Saturday, that's December, I think, 8th and 9th. <laughs> that is it. Like I said, I think two are already sold out. Amazing. And that's going to be in a few weeks, so they'll be gone. And then Hawaii, December 14th. In Maui, and December 16th, the Hawaii Theater in Honolulu. Should... Do you think you should call it Maumi? 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 Maumi. <laughs> uh, so yeah, December 14th and 16th, Hawaii, and then that's it. The God's not going on the road for a while. The God. That. Yeah. What are you going to do, G-O-D, with all that time? I don't know. I'm going to do an L.A. show, like a small show, probably in... January, maybe February. A small show meaning like... Like to start off a local. new thing, yeah. A local thing. It's exciting because that's when you're special around special. that time. I, I find out today my my date. Oh, yeah, a couple crazy. hours. Crazy. The release date. Powerful. Of my uh, disgraceful um, <laughs> uh, new special. What a great, what a great thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right. Uh, guys, Pasadena Ice House, January 12th. I'll be headlining that show. I may put some friends on there, too. Make it a really fun night. We'll yeah. see. February 2nd and 3rd, uh Titty in Puta. Puta. <laughs> wise Guys. Get it? Wise Guys Comedy Club. February 23rd, Calusa at the uh, Calusa Casino. I've been there. I've done that. Yeah. I've what, done Calusa. Where is Cal... Ca it's somewhere C like... C Calusa. I want to say it's kind of close to Sacramento, like in that area. The I sack? Think so. The balls in the sack? Yeah, ball okay. sack, yeah. 
March 30th and 31st, Portland, Oregon at Herium Comedy Club. Very excited to go Jesus. back there. Why do you say that? You know, I just have a pronunciation thing. Yeah. Sometimes I can't say the words right, Tom. Okay. Anything else? <gasps> no, but I lost where I was before. Well, um, the tickets go to Christina P. online for any of those tickets. For mine, go to TomSegura.com uh, and hit the tour page. Don't Google the city. Go to always to the artist page. You know why? Because that's how you avoid the scalpers and the crick. People hit me up. I can't believe you're selling $150 ticket. I'm like, dude, that's somebody else trying to make money from you. Don't do it. Get the regular normal price tickets. They're like 30 bucks, 35 bucks or something, man. They're not $125. Um, anyways, just okay. thought I'd throw that out there. Anything else? Shop. Right, Christmas is coming up. I hope you guys are doing your shopping on uh, our stores, our merch stores. Oh, yeah. There's um, and there's, sweaters. Yeah, there's a new, I guess I'll say it now, there's a new item. Uh, oh. Just hit the store. Um, it's pretty exciting. I um, thought I was going to do this for it, but here it is. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know machines you had a whole thing. Machines Within. Yep. The Machines Within shirt. Oh. Yeah, Terminator gun. Yeah. Terminator <laughs> gun. Got the wrong volume on it. So. Machines Within. Machines Within. Yeah. yeah. So I'm very excited. Coming at you. Here we go. I'll <laughs> sing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's machines oh, within man. and also um this is also uh corresponding with uh, a massive sale because we're doing uh thanksgiving black friday whatever that is sales so if you go to the site um you, we have a, a huge sale going on starting i think it's on friday so uh, make sure you check it out we have uh, santa claus is black santa claus is latino santa claus is asian and um, a bunch of Christmas stuff. We have a Santa Claus wears jeans hat oh, so good. and sweater. 100% of the profits from the sweater, which is almost sold out, is all going to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, it's very cool. That That's the only thing, by the way. If you get uh, Santa Claus wears jeans sweater, it won't be on sale because it's a charity item. So the right. other things. So we can give them more money. Yeah. The other things will all be on sale. So there's that. I think we should call it Brown Friday. Brown Friday. That's a really good point. But what if you shit blood? Then it is kind of Black Friday. <laughs> you know? Black and red Friday? Yeah. Wait, black, brown, and red. This reminds me, I, I also <laughs> did um, Pete Holmes' podcast. Oh, the porn star. Uh, no. Pete Holmes, the comedian, oh. star of the HBO show Crashing. Oh. He has You Made It Weird podcast. I did it. It's out today. So if you are Palm listening. Palmcast. Palmcast. Coming out. And um, <laughs> he's really good at interviewing. Yeah, I want to I wanna listen to you. I never listen to you on other podcasts. Yeah. It's funny because you yeah. realize afterwards, you're like, oh, that person got me to open up. They just have like a really, I don't know, it's almost like a subtle way of, of dis, you know, engaging you and getting you to yeah. be more open. And, yeah. Yeah. And did you guys, I mean, he's a really nice guy. Did he give you a massage after? Did you guys? Yeah. Yeah, no, we took a bath. Full release. We took a bath. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have some podcast news. I'm on Mark Marin's today. His podcast. His podcast this week. Oh, wow. His episode, and then Doctor Drew. I saw, by the way, a few messages from last week. Yeah. People uh, writing in. They're like, "Did she just say Pacifically?" And they, <laughs> and they were like, "That. How does she say that so long?" <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I love that. I like when, yeah, when some people don't, they're not in on the jokes I yet. Know. And you're like, guys, come on. People were lecturing. They're like, how is she saying uh, Pacifically? Yeah, hilarious. All um, right. All right. It's time to get into this. Palm so here <laughs> we go, Gene. Here we go. I just wanted to know how we got here. Wow. Not to offend anybody out there, but I just walked by some jeans wore out jeans holes in them all cut up this shit is big time who is randy don't bring anyone mother into this your mama in the fucking stand welcome welcome, welcome to your mom's house ah uh, uh, 
yeah. I'm offended at those jeans. I just realized that you're wearing a jean, <laughs> our jean hooded sweatshirt. Do we still it's, have those? Are they still in the store? I don't know, but it is my favorite it's item. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. It's the right thickness level. Yeah. It's not too thick. Yeah. It's soft. And I like it because it's like a YMH reference, but it's not. It's, it's not, not like, like loud. It's, yeah, it's like yeah. No one <laughs> so, would know unless they know. No, that's what's cool. And it's hilarious when I wear. It. I like to wear it on airplanes because yeah. it's perfect. It's got pockets, a hood. Yeah. And uh, I know people eyeball it like Gene. What's yeah. that all about? Like, is that your name? Right. Is your name Gene? But it kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> it is Gene. <laughs> Thanks to our electrician, it is Gene. Gene, that was the best is day. Gene here. <laughs> Gene, do you want me to put another outlet? You want in me your to living room? Take a shit in your bathroom, Gene. He's the one <laughs> that, that took was, a shit. No, that was the carpenter. Are you sure that's yes. not that guy? No, no, it was the guy that modified this desk. Oh, shut up! He came back. He's the one that took a big shit. Yeah. 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 The the, uh, the electrician didn't. Gene. Gene. I do have to say, I tried on a pair of um, deliberately torn nice jeans yeah. this last week. And I was kind of like, I can't pay a lot of money to have jeans that have holes in them. It just felt counterintuitive. Yeah. I agree with this guy that if you're going to wear your jeans, they got to be high, they got to be tight, and they got to be well, intact. This is the head coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Uh, Nick Saban, uh, his press conference, and a lot of people sent this. like, did you see Nick Saban talking about jeans? <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to know how we got here. <laughs> Not to offend anybody out there, but uh, I just walked by some jeans, <laughs> wore out jeans, what? holes in them. Oh, no. All cut up. I just remember when I was a kid in West Virginia, I was ashamed to go to school because my jeans were wore out. Right. Only because we didn't have any better. Right. Now they buy them that way. I just can't figure out how we get here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I don't know. That was a real dad laugh right yeah, there. a real football dad laugh at yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that, that's what he's worried about right now in, in America, the state of the, the jean wearing. Jeans. That's, yeah. that's what his beef is with yeah. the State of the Union. That's it. Wore out jeans. <laughs> <laughs> there are huh. other much more serious issues going on in our country right now. Black guys would love to fuck and fuck good. If you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, if you oh want to move in, you can move in, but you got to fuck me. See? I, need, I need to be fucked a lot. Man. Yeah, this guy Get needs help. Funny thing is, and everything else, I could totally understand if Nick Saban made this video too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he was like all oh, the black guys don't want to fuck me fuck me you got to play here at Alabama you got to be willing to get out there and you got to fuck me but I'll, I'll take yeah. it if you can really play if you can win me a national championship <laughs> fuck me come here come here and you fuck think, me you think that's how bad he wants it the to win? win absolutely yeah I think if you pulled some of these guys some of the coaches the, the big time coaches <laughs> aside and you were like we have to cut off your child's pinkies and yeah. then you'll win national team. They'd be like, cut it, just do it quick. Yeah, I think you're right because listening to them talk. They're I mean, crazy. The, They're the, out of their minds. Well, and the amount of sacrifice. Look, I don't know much about sports. I only know what you watch on tele and sometimes I'm interested. That Vince yeah. Lombardi documentary. Oh, I yeah, mean, that that, was, yeah. he would have sold all of his children into slavery for uh, more Super Bowls, yeah. prostitution to yeah. win yeah. Super Bowls. Oh, they, yeah, they're, they're psychos. They become total psychos. <laughs> Especially the ones that win the most. They're they're just completely fucking out of their minds. Yeah. yeah. I imagine you have to be to be that devoted to And like those games. in that documentary they're like he was unbearable to be around when they lost. Like oh. I'm sure Saban is definitely the same way. Yeah. Well yeah. he's worried about the jeans situation in yeah, America jeans. right he's now. Like, he's fucking jeans. <laughs> Pretty soon the kids are, You just cut out completely. Pants are sagging. Oh, yours did? Yeah. Let totally. me try re replugging yeah. it in. There you go. That Hope one? It came back, yeah. Okay, it was just yeah. loose. Yeah, right. we had to from check. jail, homeless, <laughs> or um, you're a thug. <laughs> you're a thug. Yeah. Wow, so much going if on. If you want to move in, you can move in, God. but you got to fuck me. Yeah. yeah, it gets lonely around the holidays. What I think that would happen is if somebody was like, we'll guarantee you <laughs> like national championships, but these homeless guys have to be able to fuck you. And they're like, these guys would low-key, like, if they're like, as long as no one finds out, yeah, these guys can fuck me. <laughs> If it meant definite <laughs> national championships, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know some comedians that would do that. For like uh, stardom? Showbiz, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. There are people that do that from parts of movies. Wait a minute, aren't we in a scandal? Oh, that's right. We're in a scandal. <laughs> Did you see the latest one that was totally unexpected? Which one? Well, I mean, they're all kind of unexpected, but uh, Jeffrey Tambor. I know. He got, um, he is quitting Transparent, which <sighs> is know. this 
award-winning show on Amazon, I think yeah. it's on. Mm-hmm. And he's won Emmys and, and I think been nominated for more. And the show is really highly celebrated. He plays a trans woman on the show, I guess is the mm-hmm. star of the show, mm-hmm. uh, was accused of harassing, I guess, two people on the show. And he just was like, you know, I've never meant anything by what I did. Uh, it was interpreted a certain way. I, I can't see how I could return to the show. So he just quit the show, like the star of the show. I mean, this is a celebrated show. I guess it's it's almost like, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of like, uh, it's like the, the star of, you know, Orange is the New Black being like, I'm out. And they're like, yeah. where happens to the show, you know? Yeah, I, I haven't read specifically the charges yeah. against him, so I can't really comment. I mean, Al Franken got taken down too yeah. uh, recently. Another, uh, that actually has another accuser today. No. Yeah, this one, well, his are like, you know, it's still harassment, but like the one that today is that in uh, at the state fair uh, during a photo, he did, you know, he's a state senator and would take just photos with all types of people. A woman said that he definitely grabbed her butt. Oh, jeez. And then he was like, you know, I what never intentionally grabbed people? anyone's butt. And she was like, no, it was not my back. It was not my hip. He definitely grabbed my butt. Isn't it? I was just thinking today um, on the drive home from LAX. Yeah. It, isn't it absurd that in 2017 we have to tell men like, hey, guys, guys, don't pull your dicks out and masturbate in front of women. Oh, yeah. Don't uh, rape. Don't rape. Don't uh, grab. You're getting me fired up right now. <laughs> you are. Like, oh, yeah. My pussy <laughs> to you now. <laughs> That's inappropriate. How dare you? <laughs> Uh, Sarah Silverman came out finally to speak on the Louis C.K. thing because the two of them yeah. have been friends for 20 years. And uh, she's got a show right now, too. About She it. does. Yeah. She came out and was like, look, it's it's a very hard thing to be so close to somebody. Um, you know, I'm hurt and I'm torn. And I, you know, I, I get her, it. Her thing was um, was actually pretty thoughtful and interesting. Actually, her, I think unrelated to the specifics is actually an interesting uh, concept in life mm. because what she essentially said was can you um, love someone mm-hmm. that has done terrible things right like and, can you love Heidegger if you know he's a Nazi uh, yep yeah, I guess that would be a version of that <laughs> um, so can you love Charles Manson even though he's dead now you're here gosh, but let's yeah. let's not get on that let's yet not get on that. but it would be interesting like I always you know what I think about when I like bringing up Manson is people who are really close let's say like the rest of us are like that's a monster but like what if you're like cousin sibling yeah. you know there's probably some part of you that's like I actually like that guy Un- Uncle I, Charlie yeah Uncle Charlie's actually he was always nice <laughs> well that's like, that's he always <laughs> brought the best pudding and, right and he was all he always had a toy for me and was right all, I mean like some of them have to, to be like that well I think because not everybody there are not because everybody's people, all evil that's the whole all thing the time. Yeah. and that's something that that you understand as you get older. Because yeah. as a child, you process this person's all good or all evil. Yeah. You don't look at it as... A spectrum uh, Yeah, you, look, you don't look at it as a complicated thing. But people are actually complicated. Oh, you, totally. And, and so you do find sometimes that people can be good and have done bad things, and then you have to find some way to deal with that, you know, yeah. process that. Well, and also Pamela Adlin, whose show Better Things on FX, I am thoroughly obsessed with. I mean, it, yeah, you that, love that show, show. Yeah. has ruined television shows for me because it's so funny and so real and she's an amazing talent now louis and her co-created that show and he co-wrote on some of the episodes so now the debate is do they pull the plug on that show right now there's this great time article that was like why are you going to punish pamela adlin for something louis ck did and isn't that a feminist thing to let the woman have her show yeah why are yeah. you pun- taking her down because of yeah, that so we'll see what happens. I hope she gets to keep that show because it's my yeah. my favorite. They thing. pulled the plug on the animated series that was coming. Yeah, see yeah. that's a bummer because that's a lot of people that are that's people who are uh, going into the holidays that lost yeah. all their jobs because of that. It's not it's not fair. Uh, you know it's interesting. So I saw Ryan Sickler and Jay Larson yesterday. In, Sickle cell. Yeah, in Houston, the Crab Feast guys, yeah. and. Uh, <laughs> and and Ryan and I were going back to the hotel. We're talking about Louie. We're talking about Cosby. And he goes, you ever seen the video of Cosby coming out of the courthouse? Have you ever heard of this? Mm-hmm. He comes, he's coming out just as he's cleared of some charges. And he does the fucking fat Albert. Hey, hey, hey. He does it. Like, to the, really? the fans that are outside the courthouse. Yeah. If you want to Google it, try and find it. It's worth the, <laughs> It's worth me vamping a minute so you can find it. Yeah. Um, 
which is just fascinating to me because you can always tell who's a real psychopath when they disregard what's happening in court or they mock or you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if you're so disrespectful to the law, there like if go. I was in court, I would not be doing. Yes, this is it. You're gonna die. <laughs> turn up, turn up the volume. He turned the volume on this clip. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know if you get here. He is he's walking out of court? Photographers. He just got. Oh, he just got. Oh no, Joy. De- it's during deliberations. He hasn't been cleared Oh, yet. so he That's hasn't even, even been crazy. cleared. <laughs> yeah. And he's walking out of the courtroom. This guy started to laugh for sure that was with him. Right. And there's policemen escorting him out of the building. Yeah. I mean, you really have to be an aloof piece of sociopathic shit. Yeah. That's pretty great. Wow. How are you not worried, dude? Like, he's not worried. He's doing the Fat Albert. <laughs> you see this guy start to laugh? <laughs> what? Watch his mouth. Watch his mouth. <laughs> he starts to laugh. Oh, I mean, oh God, but how great. crazy? Um, but my point being, like, how much of a psychopath are you to not feel afraid or feel the severity of what you're yeah. in? And or he's just trying to, like, bring, like, lift some of the seriousness of what he's going. You know what I mean? Like, he's not dealing that it's, with it. Yeah. Of course. So you're like, everything is so serious around you that he's like. Uh, like anyway, here's another guy that always I laugh so fucking hard. I created him. Well, God, I guess you're my best friend, being I invented you. Well, that's already a pretty. <laughs> there, there's your dad. There's uh, Daddy Manson. <laughs> Uncle Charlie. Just, yeah, Charlie passed away. <laughs> How sad are you? I am not sad that Charles Manson passed I'm, away. I'm surprised. I'm sure there's been a Twitter outpouring of love and support for you on this very tragic day. No. <laughs> He was 83. He was a really bad guy. A- 83 is not bad for prison life. I got to tell no. you, that's pretty old for bad diet. How long diet. was he locked up for? Probably 40-some oh, years? Yeah. 50 years almost? <laughs> Since Jesus. the 70s. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> he was a long time. And you think he would have gotten the swastika tattoo removed at some point? It didn't point? age well. I'll say that. Because <laughs> like, I saw a recent photo and it was like, Drooping, like one of the <laughs> corners just started, kind of started to melt away. It looks like it was like a like a uncolored Rubik's cube right. was falling down on his nose. <laughs> right. I think it's they started as X's, right, and then they later turned into swastikas. From what I remember, no, he had a swastika. Well, I read Helter Skelter oh. in seventh grade, and I think his whole thing was they gave them X's on their foreheads, his followers, to be like they're X'd out of society. Oh. and then later it evolved into the pleasant swastika. Oh, okay. So I mean, that's hey, just a little. Way. I didn't know if you knew that, being that you're such a big fan. I knew that he was a big race war guy, so that's why I thought it was always a swastika. Right. I think it it started as. Just X's, the mm. cult that he Pretty started. Pretty nutty thing to say. What ensues will raise your eyebrows to a whole new level. What happens? Upon being asked if he himself <laughs> is Jesus Christ, Manson explains that there are actually many Jesuses all over the world. Oh. There's all kinds of Jesuses. There's a black Jesus down in Florida. He's having a good time. There's a Mexican Jesus in Mexico. Okay, it is believed by some that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a theory. Yeah, it God is, appears yeah. in many forms, but what Manson's else? assessment probably isn't what most people have in mind. It's a consciousness that lives in your mind. Number nine, Charles Manson never killed it's true. anyone. Yeah. Charles Manson was convicted of. You're first- right. There's an X on this guy's forehead. Yeah. Started. I see. I know these things. Yeah, you're right. Did you read Helter Skelter? When you were like a teenager? No. Okay, I was goth. You know I love the dark stuff. Yeah. You got to read Helter Skelter. You're great read. Yeah. Great, great read. Real, just light toilet read. Uh, it's about, about this thick. About his, about the whole thing? About the Manson clan, murders, yeah. the murders, what started it all. Yeah. It's really, really neat read. It's degree murder, but he did not directly kill even one of the victims for whom he went to jail. Wow. Rather, he ordered members yeah. of his quote-unquote family to carry out the Tate LaBianca murders. Oof. So when Manson told Heidi Shulman in 1987 that he quote, never killed anyone, there's arguably some accuracy to his words. There you go. What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone. However, Manson's follow-up statement makes a about as much sense as Helter Skelter. I don't need to kill anyone. I think it. Is mm. Manson implying that he can kill people using his own mind? Yeah. I think this is the interview where he told her he, she was overweight. Did you hear that? <laughs> He's like, you need to lose some weight. And she was like, mm. and it, <laughs> She got fat shamed by Yeah, by Manson. Charles Manson. Yeah. Oh, He's like, a you're a little plump. <laughs> 
Not your type. Now, is he the one that, did he get married? You know how sometimes yeah, yeah, these he did. assholes. He did. He got married recently. Oh, oh, that's not, oh, that's right. A I remember that. A much younger woman. Yeah. Yeah. Was she hot? She's, she's hot. Look, a lot of people are hot for him. I mean, in other words, like right. compared to him. So yeah, <laughs> on, on the Charles Manson scale. Yeah. What do you think's going on there in the women who choose a serial killer or just murder as a life partner? I mean, if you read Helter Skelter, then you're like, I got to meet this guy. <laughs> I gotta marry him. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Yeah, I don't know. He's oh a, man, he's a world class fucking psycho. Yeah, he's top of the line pos. This oh one. man, such a he's a drifter. You know, he's just a a, a worthless just scumbag. Well, I'll tell you what I remember of Helter Skelter. So he killed Sharon Tate and the LaBianca, their celebrities. Yeah. Who's a famous, gorgeous model. Yeah, she that was, was Polanski's wife. Well, right, 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 right. That's he right. Raped a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> what a neat family mm -hmm. anyway she was like seven months pregnant with their baby yeah and it's pretty horrific he was a failed musician manson yeah. was a failed artist and he hated successful artists and successful people called them pigs said that they you know they're sad that it's a big uh setup show business and in, in hollywood yeah. so he he took it out on tate that yeah pretty horrific stuff Fuck, man. and then the guy that created full house uh bought the manson murder home that's real crazy <laughs> to buy the house that that happened and be like just do it here build a house here yeah <sighs> yeah yeah no, i don't i don't think so no way or that he can get into other people's heads and influence them to commit murder in any case it's mm, nothing boy. short of bonkers yeah. in the spiritual world is where i live i exist in places you never even dreamed okay. of i don't okay. know if i can say yeah, more. charles manson is I'm pretty good yeah. on that. Thanks. <laughs> now, is he your favorite of the crazy killer? I mean, even though he technically is not a killer, he, but he. Yeah. You know, is he influence. my favorite? Like, no. who's your fave of the. I don't have a fave. From jail, homeless, <laughs> or um, you're a thug. Do you like Ted Bundy? No, these are horrible people, Gene. Yeah, but you love. I don't love them. Every night before I go to bed, I hear you watching the Unabomber. Ted Bundy, yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer. I watch, you know, stories. My stories. I watch stories about, you know, bad people sometimes, yeah. Who's your favorite? I don't have a favorite. There's no favorite. I just like watching stories about crime. <laughs> okay. There is no favorite. All right. Hey, no no need to get so angry. Okay, well, I'm crazy saying, eyes. Like, there's no favorite, okay. man. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I like Ted Bundy. I thought he was the handsomest of them all. You shouldn't like him. He's I don't like fucking... him. I'm saying if I had to choose uh, one that I prefer to learn about, he was a smart guy. He was married, too. Um, was he married? Yeah, he got married in court. Bundy was? Yeah. How do you know so much? I talked to this girl last night about it, because I, there's a bit, I do a bit now about like the wives of the Weinsteins and the Cosbys of the yeah. world, and then Manson came up, and she came up to me after, she goes, yeah, Ted Bundy got married in court. He did it himself in court, because he represented himself. He did represent himself, yeah. 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 His story's real fucked up, man. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. He's, mm. uh, he was super deceptive, and really articulate for a lot of these guys are really uneducated and you know like drifter types like manson <laughs> yeah but bundy was drifter higher higher iq yeah he, yeah smart dude yeah. did he graduate law school he may have just college yeah I'm sure i don't remember yeah he was fucked up man yeah <laughs> really fucked up <laughs> it's all about mommy these guys get abused by their mommies and then they end up hating all the women yeah fuck yeah yeah and it'd be nice to your sons yeah, yeah. I don't understand, like, why you bitches and people is mad just because I say I'm black and Ancestry.com say I'm black. What? I don't know. Okay. An Ancestry.com says this woman's black. I mean, for people listening, what does she look like to you? <sighs> Latina? She looks Latina to you? Yeah, I don't know. She's just like a pretty brunette girl, like with blondie highlights. Like a white girl, come on. She looks like a white girl. Yeah, like you know, tan white girl. I guess. Yeah. Her eyelashes like, are a at lot. At the end of the day, what is a race, anyways? You feel me? Cause like we all want, we all here on this world supposed to be equal. It's just in the past people was messed up and stuff. She really has that voice down, man. Yeah, if I close my eyes, it. I mean, if you're just listening to this podcast, you, I I bet you you swear that's a, just a black lady. Like yeah. if Miss Pat was in here, she'd be like, Tom. Yeah. Remember when she thought you were doing her voice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> Miss Pat was like, you, your impression. I'm like, I'm not doing an impression. That's a real clip. Yeah. What did I play for her? Now, that girl's really good at, at the black lady voice. Yeah, that's pretty in- incredible. Jeez. It was um, it was the farting clip. That's what it was. Fart. <laughs> I, I played this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She goes, Tom. She goes, you're, you're impression of black people. I go, it's not impression. Fart, yeah. Yeah. Now, weren't you talking to me about being trans... Transracial? Transracial. That's what this look that's what this girl She's is. She's transracial. Yeah. But but she says that her ancestry dot com thing makes her black. Yeah. Maybe it, she sees where they go like, and you're seven percent sub Saharan. She's like, see, I'm African. Yeah. Isn't everybody like point something yeah, black? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, well, not me. My bloodline's impeccable. This, is, but... <laughs> uh, this girl is I guess she goes by I'm Wo Vicky and she's been getting a lot <laughs> a lot of hate. <laughs> um yeah, I don't. I don't think that that uh, ancestry is going to give you a lot of clearance there. You know. Yeah. But like now, like we we should all be one. We shouldn't be looked at by race. Oh, they this color. Oh, they that. We should be looked at as one. It shouldn't even be what ancestry dot com said or what or what they look like or what their hair look like. I want to know so much more about her though. I know. Like. What's her home life like? What's her school life been like? Yeah. Her whole upbringing. When did she completely appropriate somebody else's vernacular and yeah. culture? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. It's a, it's a lot. It's when a lot did those, of questions uh, I got about you. You know what I'm saying? When did those eyelashes happen? Yeah. She's got like five layers of She's eyelashes. Got nice teeth. Great teeth. Yeah. She's Great really teeth. Nice teeth. But the eyelashes are t- it's too many. Too Those much. are eyelashes are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. I mean, I know it's cool to fill them in right now. Women are getting the, the fakies. Yeah. But I think that's like one layer or five layers too many. Maybe for the night out, you could do something. But this is just, she's just on that house and on the couch just yeah. making videos. It should just be, oh, they're human too. You feel me? Like, yeah. it shouldn't even be like that. But <laughs> people want to make it like that and uh-huh. shit. I don't understand. Well, yeah. you're. I, I get mm. that you don't understand. Every nail is a different color on her hand. Did she you went see for that? It. Yeah, she went for it. What is that now? Ladies are doing one nail a different flavor, right? Like the uh, the second to last. What's this one called? The ring finger. Ring I've been finger. seeing that one. They'll do like glitter, but to have every one of them different. Well, that's kind of punk. Yeah, I guess it feels like a lot of work, right? You got to change. <sighs> Man, that. That's a it's a part time job getting those nails done all the time, yeah. getting them filled, getting them, you know, glitterized and shit. That's a fucking lot of things, a lot of time. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Would you do that? Would I get fake nails? Um, yeah, I guess. If you were a lady, sure. Why not? Okay, I would do it. I like I like the look. But I don't like the utility of that. Yeah, there's no utility. You can't even yeah. pick your nose. How do you wipe your ass with long nails like that? And you see people like um, they're touching their phone and they, their hand has to go. Yeah, yeah, it's so stupid. So they can use their phone. Like it just disrupts everything. Yeah, I, I like them short and clean. Utility. So, um, where's this guy? Unless I can pick my nose better with no nail. The guy that uh, that sent in. Uh, 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 the Machines Within. Uh, His name is Jordy? Yeah. And he said he played it for the crowd? Yeah. Did you see that? Yes. He, see, he sent it to my Twitter. Yeah, this was... Um, <laughs> he's in China. Look at that. Look how many hey, people are there. I <laughs> want to let you know I just played uh, Machines Within. <laughs> it's an I arena. It's an arena. Full China's of- going crazy. Man, Jing. That's right. F all the haters. Machines within, machines within. That are gone. <laughs> That's nuts. Ah. So he must have, is he the one that sent in the club mix? That's what I'm guessing it oh, was. Oh, okay. Because we got a few a few weeks ago. and uh, F all the haters. F the haters. F all the haters. Um, went kind of nuts. Let me see if I can find this here. Uh, well, while you're looking for that. Yeah. I will, um, I'm going to read this email about dick tattoos. Yeah, dick tattoos was a a topic of conversation, and we kind of wanted to get into how that 
how somebody gets their dick tattooed. Yeah. Right? We were talking about it a few weeks ago. Right. Because it seems very difficult and does because, it have to be erect? Right. Well, also because what led to it is that some people have asshole tattoos <laughs> and some people have vagina tattoos and then dick tattoos also exist. And we thought about, well, how did that artwork <laughs> get there? And, you know, is it hard? How do you do it? So we had a, an artist actually wrote in, right? Yeah. Uh, he writes... So uh, he's, he, he qualifies it by saying he's not an expert, but he's been tattooing for almost four years. He writes, turns out you do not have to be erect to receive the procedure. Christina was on the right track in thinking of the stretching of the skin. That is the important part. While I personally have never tattooed a dick, I've seen the procedure and have asked other artists uh, that have their dick tattooed. Tattooing both flaccid and erect dicks have complications. For example, if you receive a tattoo on an erected penis, at that time it may only take up a specific area. But as the penis would become more flaccid, the image would shrink dramatically. Try blowing up a balloon and draw on it, then deflate it and look at the image. How I've heard they do it in prisons is to stretch it around a soda can. Yeah, we heard, I also saw a tennis ball. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, Yeah, that way they have the stability underneath tattooing scrotums are another problem entirely you have to either you have to have either the client or another artist help stretch the skin between two hands in the old bad wing style bat wing style to create flat tissue to work on help this answers your questions shits definitely push the farts (laughs) (laughs) Uh, right uh uriah thank you uriah that's uh thanks for the help shits definitely push the farts yeah (laughs) Yeah, that's so that really so good. you do have to stretch it. A tennis ball is interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. yeah. Did um, you find the source? Well, so okay, let's see. I have uh, machines with machines with then fuck the haters. haters. <laughs> for the haters. No, oh, I was thinking of uh, oh, I must have been thinking of the "She's Retarded" song. That's what I was thinking. Oh, you know, that's the song. <laughs> Yeah, this is, that's from Because people were really into this song. Everybody thought this was a banger. <laughs> yeah. That's what Miley Cyrus calls him. The guy that sent this to us is a Jordy at Jordy Does. Twitter. Yeah, he did. Um, so he said he played it, but I was just wondering, did he play a version that he made? You know, like that's the part that I was trying to figure out. Yeah. Because uh, this, let's see, does this say Jordy on it? I have another beat down for you. Uh, no, this is Michael. <laughs> okay, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> so silly. It's uh, so funny. This guy Jordy at Jordy G U Z on Twitter. He writes in his in his bio. Yeah. He's like, uh, tweets ending in slash J are from Jordy. All the other ones are too. You know how Studio G does it too yeah. like that? <laughs> Stupid uh, Garth. Yeah, no, I, I just, I, I don't see oh, Jordy haters. as one of the producers on one of these, so I don't know which one he played. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I have another beat down for you. I'm trying to practice, practice my own song. This is my introduction to my song. <laughs> So that's from a few weeks ago. More Machines Within came in. Uh, We got one here by, (laughs) uh, it's called Fresh as Fuck Machines Within by Ben. Okay. More of a chill approach to it, right? It's like a sexy. I feel like this is at a trendy uh, hotel lobby. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. Nailed it. It's 500 a night. There's yeah. a pool in the lobby. Nailed People it. are swimming around. Mermaids yeah. swimming yeah. around, yeah. Uh, then this is uh, Machines Within by Dave. Let's see what this one is. Just scratch your nuts. It's like my crotch area. <laughs> So many different interpretations. Wow. <laughs> it's a 
like really heartfelt. Yeah. Wow. Very nice, Dave. Well, that's what's great about the song and the concept is that it's so high concept. It's it lends itself to constant unfolding, constant interpretation. Here's one by uh, Daniel Thomas. Music. Let's see what I'm gonna be beat down for you. <laughs> Coming at you. Here we go. Terminator's Matrix. Go. Terminator's Matrix. Oh wow. <laughs> I like it. Stark. Here we go. Here we go. T16. 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 100%. What's real? What's fake? What's real? What's fake? Okay. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. And then here's Machines Within Funk by Angels. go andrew so a lot of machines within yeah. pretty impressive man i'm uh i'm very impressed actually i'm proud of myself i'm proud of myself um what did uh did what's his name i i thought i saw an email or a tweet from obi One hmm. saying that he had sent one in hmm the obi One cannoli obi One cannoli yeah hmm. oh here we go hmm. he wrote uh uh, he did a She's Retarded song. <laughs> Obi-Wan did. Let's see. It's really good. He always does a good job. Yeah. So talented. It's good. I like this. <laughs> Damn, it's a hit. Yeah. <laughs> That's impressive, man. So good. Now, Obi Wan Cannoli is one of the original uh, creators of music. Yeah. Back, oh, okay. Now I see that his thing is in my folder. Oh, okay. Uh, I lo- I searched an email for it, but it's actually oh there. the Obi Wan. Uh, as yeah, it's in the she's because I was looking for it as a machines within song. Oh. So it's a she's retarded song, obviously. <laughs> um, and Very then good. Jason from Sacramento also sent a uh, she's retarded song in. Um, <laughs> Obi's was really good. Uh, he's always yeah. outstanding, though. He did that crazy Peter Kane song. Oh my God, so good. Yeah. Please, sir, go officer, don't arrest my girl today. Oh my God. It's not her fault <laughs> that she spit into your face. <gasps> wow. There is a reason why <laughs> she has to act this <laughs> it's cause she's retarded. Yeah, she's so retarded. Oh my god. Please, sir, oh officer, don't throw my girl to the ground. It's not her fault that she drools all around. <laughs> there is a reason. I love it. It's so it's like, good. It's like a beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's cause she's retarded. Yeah, she's so retarded. 
this song so this song could be like an itunes so hit oh yeah like he could put this up and then be like what is, uh, what's he saying so <laughs> jason from sacramento <laughs> that's really good that's really good that man. is so funny because it's so low-key yeah you could be hearing this in like nordstrom or in a mall somewhere <laughs> i know like, starbucks <laughs> yeah what is song? Like, wait is, what is, he, is saying? he saying she's retarded that's why she drools everywhere i swear i would love it so much if anybody could play that at their place of business if you work at like a starbucks or play like a song. retail store yeah. if you could have said <laughs> when people I people doing their own mining their just own like, business. Just like like what? Cuz when I used to work on mm. retail, I worked at a place called the uh, the May Company. It doesn't exist anymore. It's basically Macy's now. Yeah. And Shauna, my best friend and I used to play goth music when we worked in the young adult section. Yeah. And it was the most fun to play like Bauhaus inside of essentially a Macy's. Yeah. And my boss every now and then be like, could you guys change the music in here? This is kind of weird. We're like, what? Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You have that act like they're <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> That's the most fun to play like Joy Division in the juniors department. Uh, there's one more. Uh. So here's a, a, a Girlfriend's Retarded by Tom. <laughs> A green day. You know, it's it's very good, Tom. I mean, there's a lot of, like I said, a lot of talented people out there. A lot of interpretations <laughs> of Machines Within and She's Retarded, you know? A lot of different interpretations. Free rent, you get a lease in a case. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> We're really drawn to that guy. That, <laughs> that guy, yeah. That and the uh, the guy who shit. We, ha- we can't say who, but is our... Special guests coming in next week? Yeah, they are. Yes. That's going to be exciting. See, we're going to play that for them. Right. We have a special guest coming up. Yes. We can't announce yet. Well, don't, because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's planned, and it'll be really fun. Really fun. We got a big one. If it, Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. let's not get too hype about it. Okay. Um, you know what would be good to do? I just had an idea. There's a great Bauhaus song called She's in Parties. If anyone out there can make it She's Retarded yeah. from She's in Parties, that would be great. Is this She's the, um, retarded. Oh, look, this is a sub shitlers. Oh, okay. I actually have my dick tattooed. <laughs> I thought it would be a great idea to get drunk in a friend's tattoo studio one night and get born to fuck tattooed <laughs> on my shaft by my boy. No, I did not have to get hard for it, and the idea of being hard for a dick tattoo sounds cruel and unusual. Uh, Mommy Jeans was correct in her assumption that the dick needed to be pulled and stretched high and tight <laughs> to get the crust off. <laughs> the pain was normal compared to any other tattoo I've ever received, oh. and all in all was a hilarious and positive experience. Also, it makes for a good icebreaker <laughs> every time I 69 with a new bra. <laughs> Try it out. F the haters, and most importantly, wash your nuts. Jeff from Filler Up Delphia. Oh. He has born to fuck on his dick. <laughs> I mean, what would ah, do you think you would be like? Tremendous. Uh, you would laugh, or do you think you'd be a? This is a real red flag. It's, it's a red flag. <laughs> I totally. It's right? a red, but it makes me laugh. Yeah, and I'd be friends with him, but I don't know if I, if that's marriage. But what if you for guys? Me? Not maybe not. But if you were like about to hook up, and you're like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> you see, born to fuck on someone's dick. I don't know, man. I'd, I'd be like, this guy's like. He's too crazy for me. Like he's, he's too crazy. He's too wild for but me. But he's funny to go yeah. like that. You but know? I feel like that guy's got way more life experience than me. I feel like yeah. I'd be so boring for him. Well, you know? But I mean, knowing you, because I know you pretty well, <laughs> I feel like your brain would go to like, hold on. If this guy's got <laughs> born to fuck tattooed on his dick, he definitely is a card carrying uh, disease holder. Yeah, yeah, I would think that. That's what I think you would think. Well, I, yeah, because I'd be like, well, he's clearly had more partners than me because he's got his dick. T- like, I'd assume that he's kind of slutty. R- no, I think, yeah, slutty. And, and you might think, like, this dude has AIDS for sure. Right. 
<laughs> like that's what yeah. I think you think. Yeah, yeah. I think it because it might look dirty to me. Yeah. And then I'd be like, oh yeah, this guy's got AIDS. Yeah, I would yeah. actually. Yeah. Would you think the girl had AIDS? That if had you like said a born to fuck on her puss. <laughs> I would. Uh, you know, I would laugh. I would laugh hard if I saw that. <laughs> and then I'd be like, yeah, why don't we double bag this one? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Born to fuck on yeah. a chick's puss is intense. Well, it's it's. It's a little more cray cray on a woman. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. I yeah. mean, the dude is nuts, but you also kind of go like, this is probably a party guy. Like, this is the yeah. fun guy. The guy. He had a few, like like the email like, said. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what I would just, like, if I, got, if I met a guy that had that, I'd be like, yeah. this dude's a fun time. Like, he likes to, to get a laugh, so. Right. But party guy gets hammered and, and puts it anywhere. Exactly. That's the problem. That's the problem, yeah. yeah. But if a chick, now I know a chick, uh, she was, I forget what city didn't show us, but other people were like, oh, yeah, she's got a butthole tattoo. <laughs> and I was like, I was really intrigued by that. I was like, you have a butthole tattoo? Yeah. And she was like, yeah. What's it? Do you know what it was? I forget. I'd have to look it up. I mean, you know, like search for it. Because it was also like trending somewhere. A butthole tattoo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, why not? Who? No one sees it. I forget. I forget the details. But I definitely met someone that got their butthole tattoo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that uh, again, like she was probably, she's probably a party girl, right? Now, I got to ask this question yeah ask it how do you do eyelids i've seen those tattoos i mean don't pull. you pull. pull it out but then don't they have to rest the skin on something much like the penis tattoo you have to rest it on a, a, a but this is easy like this the Oof. the zoinks square footage here it's small they can right? pull so it can pull and work on an area pull on the next area yeah make it tight taut remember when um, some casino company gambling place was paying people to tattoo their foreheads. Well, people were like looking for to how they could make. They're like, "We'll give you a hundred thousand dollars," and they're like, "Yeah, tattoo like you know, <laughs> <laughs> fights dot com yeah, or something like, stupid." What is it like? It was like like Casino like, Royale yeah, or something. Like gambling that. Empire dot com yeah. <laughs> or something on your fucking forehead. <laughs> I think it was less than a hundred thousand, Gene. I want to say it was like ten or twenty thousand. Oh, Jesus, that's really, I'm serious. That's depressing. Hey, tattoo this on your fucking face, dude. No, your forehead, yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. your face. Damn, son. Yeah. Damn. I'm, oh, I'm terrified of that. We have a response here. I didn't see this. To m response to machines within contradiction. Oh. oh. Hey, Hitler, I have a theory about the lyrical genius of machines within. <laughs> In the lyric, F the haters, F all the haters, is it possible huh. that we have just assumed that the F stands for fuck? <laughs> I'm proposing that he may be saying, forgive the haters. <gasps> Forgive all the haters. This adds to the credence to the line. This adds credence to the line, much love, no hate. Oh. Maybe he's a moose soup loving redneck that just loves rapping about nonsense. <laughs> or maybe he's the second coming of Jesus who happens to be working on his flow. Just something I was thinking about while I was tripping on 10 to 12 Benadryl. I got a bad, bad bite, Ben from Illinois. That's a really <laughs> interesting analysis. Yeah. F the haters, forgive all the haters. It could be. I mean, juggalos are about peace and love and unity. So yeah, he he is a juggalo, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a really great theory. Very thought provoking. Uh, he has another. I mean, that is very thought provoking. That he's forgiving the haters. I mean, could that be. really is Jesus. Like, could be. Um, could she's be. Within guy has another uh, submission. No. Yeah. My introduction, my song I just made on Facebook, it's called Crazy Isn't It? Well, here I go. I'll drop that verse for you. Crazy isn't it? Crazy isn't it? Drop that verse. Drop that verse. Got the knife. Crazy isn't it? Got that knife. Crazy isn't it? Crazy isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. He has such a specific style. You know, it's one of the things I would I would get to is like it's very hard to get into the rap game and have a, a style that's unique to yours. You know, right. like it takes me back to like when I first got into hip hop <laughs> and like people would sound like each other and then somebody would come on, you're like, wow, that sounds so different. I remember like sure. like Tretch from Naughty by Nature, mm -hmm. Busta Rhymes comes to mind. Guys that had such a unique approach to writing Mute, like the to lyricism, their, their to cadence, and, the cadence and such, yes, the flow. And this guy, I wish I knew his name. Also, I mean, who else sounds like this? Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? Drop that verse, drop that verse. I'm the one that was forgotten. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, isn't oh. it? Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? 
Yeah. Again. He, he likes simple. S- simple. But yeah, and here's the genius to it. Okay. At first, I, I was a little blown away. But then you look at it. Okay. Look at the marketing on this. Mm-hmm. He's got the bloody, for those of you not watching, he's wearing, is this a hockey mask? Yeah. It's almost like that Jason mask. Friday right? the 13th. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, yeah. He's got the eyes cut out and then there's like, like four. For Hannibal slots. Lecter yeah, yeah. mouth thing. Yeah. And then he's got like a bloody tarp on. Uh-huh. And he's clearly holding a knife. Holding a knife and he's taping it in his apartment because you can see the smoke detector mm-hmm. behind him, which is always a key component of these videos is you got to do it in your shitty apartment. But uh, I have to say for this audience, not ours, meaning a particular audience, this is kind of right on the, the money here. Crazy. Like the theme crazy, crazy isn't, isn't it? it? I'm the forgotten one. Like it's again kind of brilliant now does he have the he needs the right producer we've said this before we've tried to hook him up with people i'm still working on it right yeah. the raw i hate to say it but i'm this could be another hit yeah. just because this the simplicity i reached out to pete rock i've reached <laughs> out to just blaze i've reached out to swiss beats i have a message out to dr dre okay i'm just trying to like what i don't know if he's west coast i'm just trying to get the right guy, Timbaland, got an email. I know we're trying to get him in the right hands because we realize what we have. What we have here yeah. is other level. I, I'm, I'm being serious. Like I think I know. I, I sense you're joking. This could be a big song. Like for the people who like music, like Guar or you know whatever that late the the Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. People like that that like that music. Yeah. This is this falls right in line with that stuff. Crazy, isn't it? Not Stop bad. That first. How crazy, isn't it? Innocent, innocent, crazy, innocent, isn't it? Incident, innocent, incident, isn't it? Isn't it? Incident, isn't it? Incident, innocent, victims, victims. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? Innocent incidents. I'm kind of brilliant, bro. I mean, this is a whole genre of like rock metal what i don't mm-hmm. know what it's called but it, what's it called the uh, like horror metal or something like what is oh, guar no. or whatever that is there's a nice light fixture he has though <laughs> oh that's a light i thought it was a smoke yeah. detector crazy isn't it yeah. innocent innocent see it's innocent. kind of brilliant incident incident innocent crazy isn't it good lyrics crazy yeah. is no, crazy the, the lyrics are good it? i get the feeling that it's all on the spot off the cuff too i don't think he writes anything down like jay-z just like Jay Z, yeah, that's exactly who I'm thinking of. He gets in the studio and, and just, just goes, "Yeah, this is what I'm gonna talk about today." Uh, uh, turn on my headphones. Yeah, uh, uh yeah. yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. He's good at repetition it? too. Chop that first. Chop that first. Psychopath. Psychopath. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? Much love, no hate. Yeah. No hate. No hate. No hate. Much love, no hate. Much love, no hate. Much love, no hate. So cool in this place. So drop that first. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Not really bad. Good. Really good. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. I- I'm impressed. Uh, crazy, isn't it? Oh, it's Nick. Sorry. His name is Nixie. Um... Playing the song, but you. Okay, I dropped a verse from Cutter the Killer Clowns YouTube. Okay, that's his name. Um, I, oh, so this guy registered it to 140 BPM, added a simple drum loop, and nothing else in my mind was blown. So this guy actually took what we heard and just kind of messed with it a little bit, just kind of tweaked it, like you said. <laughs> basically, got with a good uh, producer. Um, he said the perfect cadence through the entire. Uh, this guy's really. Really working on his flow, no bullshit. He might be the realest rapper in the game today. <laughs> Just from Nick C. Let's see what it, what he made here with this. My introduction, my song called oh, Crazy, Isn't It? Well, here I go. I'll drop that verse for you. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? Drop that first. Drop that first. Got the knife. Crazy, isn't it? Got that knife. Crazy, it's not, it's not isn't quite there, but crazy, it's yeah, getting there. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. It's a first it? try. It's a first pass. That Definitely. First, drop that first. I'm the one that was forgotten. Crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he just needs, you know, a no, little he, more. Yeah, a little more love on that beat. It, it, it's going in the right direction, though. I yeah. like where this is going. It's a good point. I mean, it's, it really is interesting. Wow. Uh, cultural Brown question. <laughs> Do you feel shit to shower is a cultural cor- cornerstone for Hungarians <laughs> since both Tina and Adam Carolla engaged in the backwards ritual? Huh. Furthermore, do different nationalities have their own unique brown time rituals, yes. such as Italians, like myself, bring notor- being notorious back to front wipers? What? Thanks a bunch, jeans, John. 
I didn't know Italians were like that. I didn't know that either. Maybe I should ask Sebastian. Yeah, ask I feel Sebastian. Like he's the spokesman uh, for Italians. I will say my Indian stepfather, when he came to America in the seventies, did not know that you could sit on our Western style toilets, and he squatted on our toilets until his roommate walked in on him shitting one day like that, and was like, "Bro, you don't have to do that." You sit on it. You sit on it. So. That's a different way, I would say. That's crazy. He stood on the seat. He and stood and squatted, because that's how you do it in the old country, you know? Mm -hmm. There's just a hole in the ground. You ever shit on the in the Eastern world? Never. Yeah, I, I haven't shit I that way. I peed, though. Uh, don't want to experience it. No. It's, you that's know what? One of the, sometimes people go, you want to experience this new thing? And you go, nah. <laughs> I'm all good on experiences. I'm all good. Uh, but here's the good part about squatting, is that it does give you a cleaner break. Yeah. I've heard that the the cleanup is far less. It's more natural. Well, it is, and it's it's the whole concept behind that the, the squatty, squatty potty, potty yeah. which the whole concept is like we're made to shit that way. So I yeah. understand that. Yeah. Because what happens is like the further like if you stand up and squat down, that is how your body is designed to release shit. Sure. You know your your knees go up, your your asshole hangs down low. Sure. And it's just like a perfect escape valve for escape. I think. You yeah. Mean. For your for your bowels. Yeah. And that whole thing is that like on the squatty potty is that you're sitting down and your feet are elevated. So it's pushing, you know, it's making you kind of, you're seated, but you're in that position more. Right. Like know? childbirth, they push your knees up exactly. to your chest to yeah. get that position. I'd rather do that though than, than go for the full experience. I don't need it. I don't, don't need it. it. I don't really like it. I don't need the, uh, the thigh you know what I mean? Like it's got it's not relaxing to me to have to squat like that. I don't want to do it. I want to chill when I'm on the toilet. Yeah. I'm How am I supposed you. to order my groceries and stuff online? Do my shopping? I'm You're squatting. Squatting? No. No. Come That's on. Not how to do it. Um. So. Uh, oh, I what? forgot. You got a good one. Well, I w we were talking the other day. Yeah. About your dad, uh, my most favorite person on the planet. And uh, we were you were doing your top dog impression for me the other yeah. day, and I just I don't know. Would you be? Can I talk to Top Dog a little bit? You're trying to role play with me? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Top Dog, because yeah. we, we talked about a time when you would be single. Like, what would happen if your wife passed away before you? Uh, meet people, <laughs> date. Okay. And I probably wouldn't marry again, but I would go on dates. Uh, I'd have my fun. You know, blondes. <laughs> I like blondes. I like big tits, and I like blondes. And uh, it's probably you know I would have my fun, but I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't marry again. Yeah, talk about if you're gonna take a woman out on a date, what would you do with her? I like movies. Okay, <laughs> I like movies. I like dinner. All right, so I'd probably go see a movie or something like that. <laughs> I'd probably say, would you like to come in, come inside after? <laughs> <laughs> Top dog, are you a good uh, public speaker? Very natural, yeah. I'm very <laughs> good at it. Some people just have it. I'm always, I get people. I, you know, I'm, I'm very thoughtful, and I just know, I know how to make people laugh, and I know how to uh, engage people and entertain. I'm just very good. I'm very natural at it. <laughs> that yeah. is exactly how he is. It's to totally his answer. 100% yeah. his answer. I'm actually repeating an answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> that's him Multiple just being funny. Times. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, <laughs> he just called. Tommy, multiple choice. What did he say? You sound. <laughs> are you okay? I feel so funny. I can't believe I'm laughing this hard. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's him. Just in the glory of his own. <sighs> Remember yeah. the blonde jokes era that we were doing all the blonde jokes with him? He just loved those. Loved it, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. So <laughs> speaking of like dad, parents, we got so excited last week at the potential <laughs> of this about how when my dad turned 70, <laughs> I kept saying at, at that get together with my parents, I kept asking my mom if she was going to 69 my dad before he turned 70. <laughs> Like, the last night of being 69. Yeah, I was like, are you, you going to 69? She was like, what? And she had 69. no idea. No idea. <laughs> so we asked you guys to ask your folks if they would, like, ask your mom if she's going to 69 
her your dad on, on his seventieth <laughs> or right before his seventieth. And uh, some of you really came through. Thank you for that. How old is Don? Are you, gonna, you think you'll be with him when he's 70? No. You think that's a possibility? Yeah, could be. Why? What's going to happen when he's 70? Do you think the night that he turns 70, you guys are going to 69? I'm asking for, I'm asking for a, a thing. What are you doing? Are you, what, are you, I'm not going to answer these questions because they're stupid. <laughs> She's so mad. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> She's so upset. She but, leaves. I mean, you don't have to leave the house. I have to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was fantastic. She just, she shut down. That she was, got. Justin, thank you so for doing quiet. that. So quiet. Oh my God. That was, <laughs> that was so funny. Please keep doing this. <laughs> Ask your mom if she's in a 69. Here's an audio one that came in. Did you have a deal with dad? When he turned 69, that you give him a 69 on that day? Ew, no. That's gross. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, Sky from Michigan. Good work. And then you uh, sent me one. Is this a different one, I'm assuming? Yes, right? yes. This one um, just got sent in today. Where did, did you forward it to my... Uh, me. Yeah, where is that? Um, oh, okay, I see it, I see it. All right. Oh, here we go. If I can open this, I love how upset it makes moms. Of course, this is from Samantha. <laughs> would you get upset? I think it's so funny. It's so silly that your son would ask you something so crazy. Yeah, why is this? Uh, it would be from your mom's podcast at gmail dot com. I forward it to you from no, that I account. I see it. I see it. I'm trying to get it to open here. We if go. all the haters. Okay. Oh um, God, it's so funny. I wish my mother were alive. So I could ask her that because I don't even think she knew what 69 was. 69? Uh, what is 69? Uh, yeah, my mom definitely didn't know. Let's see. What, oh, is this what you're bringing out? My 30th and exactly. my 40th and so forth. Yeah. And I said, I remember 40. I don't remember 50th at all, but uh, this was my 40th. Well, let me have some of that water. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Speaking of milestone birthdays, that's a that's a do big milestone. Giant yeah, donut. His mo no, your most recent one was seventy, right? <laughs> My most recent birthday. Milestone. Oh, milestone. Yeah. Seventy. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. For <laughs> for dad's seventieth birthday, did you guys like sixty nine to celebrate to go in? Did I what? Did you guys sixty nine for dad's seventieth birthday <laughs> to celebrate? Jeez. What? <laughs> Did you guys 69 to celebrate? <laughs> That's Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah! It's a terrible yeah, question. What? <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about it too, but I'm wondering if you're talking about the last three parents. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna take their silence as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was oh great. The god. whole family there, that was perfect. That was perfect. So that says we celebrated. And this is the email. Uh. We celebrated my boyfriend's thirtieth birthday, <laughs> and then he asked his mom and dad about that. That came from Samantha. That was unreal. Oh, the dad got it. The dad he started was, laughing. He was loving it. Yeah. The mom was like, "What?" That was amazing. Did she say that she knew what it was? Yeah, she, she's like, I think I know, but I can't believe you're asking that. And that was really great. So yeah, 69, ask your mom if she's 69, your dad is 70. It's so stupid. I think that's why I like it's it so, so much. so stupid. God damn. <laughs> oh, God. Here's another silly question oh, we got. Oh, God. Six-fingered questions. <laughs> Let me get into it. Some people have six fingers on each hand. How do they decide which finger is the middle finger? Oh, my God. Are they better at guitar and saxophone and fingering butts? <laughs> Numerically, yes, they are. But sometimes you can have too much of a good thing. I think all three of us know how good fingering can be, too. How do they count to 10? Is their base 10 system of counting based on 12s? Uh, do they say, give me 24 minutes instead of give me 20 minutes when they're late? <laughs> Obviously, you're the machines within. I trust you with these, these uh, issues. Denim Forever, someone with only 10 shitty oh, fingers. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have seen. Have you met a six, uh, six fingered person? I've only seen it in that movie. My oh, name I, is Inigo Montoya. I've I've seen it a few times. Shut up. I swear. I swear. Who? Um, what? I've met people with them. I've met people with six toes. Also. Yeah. Yeah, they have like a little extra digit on the side there. Wow. 
Yeah. Apparently, I've actually saw something about, you know, evolution-wise that one day we won't have pinky toes. I've heard this. They said that there's no, you know, that you you eventually will not have them because there's not uh, really, you don't get a lot from them. But I, I feel like you get balance from them, obviously, right? I would think so. Extra balance. Yeah. And they say your pinkies are kind of arbitrary as well. Yeah. However, no, don't you need them to play piano or the flute? I don't know. Well, yeah, but I mean, how many people? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't fucking do anything yeah. productive. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, that's a really good question. If any six-fingered people are out there <laughs> or know of six-fingered people, will you ask them if they will just refer to things in 12s? <laughs> or what if they have six and five? Do they just oh, use 11s? Man. It's got to be 11. It's a loaded question, right? I get my water. Okay. There's water behind you. Um, I think it's a really interesting question. Here we go. This uh, super, what is this? Okay, this says from Blue Band here. He says, uh, this guy, what does this guy do? He's a professional. He filled himself up, sealed himself shut. (laughs) God, what? Christina, have you ever had any close close calls like this on television or on stage? Um, Like early on in your career. So let's see what Uh. it does. Useampia provinsseja sisällä. Suomi ei ole provinssi, vaan ministeriö. Uh, um, no, no, He's nervous. Eli ikään kuin maakunnille. He doesn't do anything. Eli eri puolella. No, but he's not going to. Ja kansanäänestyksen lisää. Mikä ei? It's over. It's over. It's over. I know it's over. But all he does, I'll tell you what he does. He just goes like that. Okay. Okay. He just almost. I don't throws like up. it. I don't like it. He just got really nervous. I don't. I don't like it. Next clip. Can you watch it? No. He doesn't throw up. I don't want to watch it. I don't like it. But he doesn't. Throw I don't up. like it. You know I don't like it. I don't. I'm not gonna watch. Okay, okay. You're not gonna get me. To, what you think? I'm stupid that I'm gonna no. watch the clip with puke in the title. No. No. Okay. Come on. Right. I'm not putting on my headphones because I know you're gonna you're gonna play the audio. Do you want to see this? No, I'm not. Don't uh, lie to me. I'm not. You're I, opened, lying. I opened a new folder. So this guy <sighs> is kind of the Bert of the golf world. His name is John Daly. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He's mm-hmm. pretty famous. Um, check out what he goes through in nope. a day. No, no, no. He goes through. You got to listen. It's over. I promise. I promise. Look. I'll fucking. You calculated <sighs> that. Okay. You just got to hear this. All right. All right. Okay. You calculated that. Um, you, you smoke up to 18,000 cigarettes a year. Um, Is that Donald I don't Trump? know if you're still smoking that much, but h- how long have you smoked that much for? I started smoking when I was 19. Smoked for almost 29 years. Um, I smoke about the same as the book, two packs, two, two and a half packs a day. I- any desire to stop? I, no. He looks good, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> so this guy's like legendary for huh. for being like the partying golfer okay and he actually won some major events many years ago but he had a lot of of alcohol problems sure i mean you can tell by the bloated um <laughs> face the bad under eye bags the red complexion uh the the white hair is really a nice touch <laughs> to red skin i mean he looks like a walking bag of shit so that's what i would expect and then he drapes himself in the American flag jacket like a total lunatic. I mean, <laughs> this guy looks so bad. But Jesus Christ. How, how do you even consume that much soda in a day? Ugh. I used to drink anywhere from 12 to 20 Diet Cokes a day. How? Uh, I went to McDonald's three or four times a day. <gasps> to me, they always had the best fountain drink, fountain uh, Diet Coke. They do. I don't know, because I don't drink water. I hate water. Okay. I cannot stand... To you, drink you, water. You don't drink water at all? No, Rich Beam and some of the guys, they call me the camel. Because I don't drink water. I never drink water on tour. That means, you know, that even means on those hot days when they're out on the golf course, (laughs) walking a golf course is 95 degrees out. Takes fucking three and a half hours. And he's just like, hey, dude, hand me a Diet Coke. Dude, his piss has to be like brown. Oh, his insides just have to be (laughs) a fucking ashtray, I'm sure, man. All of it. How old is Uh, he? How often did you used to eat McDonald's? Quite a bit. I like McDonald's. Burger King, McDonald's, Taco Bell, all of them. I mean, what's quite a bit? Um, I could, I used to be able to eat like two Big Macs, two or three cheeseburgers, <laughs> chocolate shake, a Diet, or a regular Coke back then, you know, yeah. before I started drinking Diet Cokes. Diet Coke's very healthy. In a sitting pretty easily. In a sitting? Mm-hmm. In a sitting? <laughs> Ugh, damn, homie. He said two Big Macs, a couple cheeseburgers, milkshake, and a Coke. 
how's he so skinny from that? He's not that skinny. He's, oh. he's a little deceptive right now. The angle position. He looks what was terrible. your diet when you won the British Open? Um, I don't think it was that bad. I think when I won the British, I was only like what, what you 225. I thought, I thought you were eating like the eating whole the British Open. You were downing like multiple packs of M&Ms, M&Ms and yeah. chocolate What's cookies and chocolate muffins. and. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with that? But I only weighed like 225 when I won the British. But see, I wasn't drinking, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, this guy's a golfer. Yeah. This just goes to show like how little athleticism is involved in golf. Jeez. Yeah, well, they're really skilled, but yeah, you could be a piece of shit. Like, uh, right, like baseball, too. Can't you be kind of a slug? You can be if you could do that one thing <laughs> Bowling. really well. Yeah. And didn't you have that joke? Yeah. Bowling, darts. Bowling, poker, and darts. I think the triple, the triple crown, crown of lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. God, I mean, this guy's just got a death wish. You got to see this guy. You really. But I get it. Him. I like McDonald's. I really do. I like that shit too. Yeah, Ugh. this is him. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's a mess, man. Yeah. But he's like a he's a known mess. I mean, look at that. That's a hooshi. Big hooshi belly. Yeah. Oh my god. Real, real drink. Oof. Yeah. It, it, and the hair doesn't help. You know. He what he was known for was just like crushing a ball too. You'd do it three hundred fifty yard drives. That's a that's a fucking. He is the Bert of the golfing world. Oh, he totally is. I wish Bert smoked. <laughs> I really do. This guy is just he, a walking um, turd. He Jeez. even got he even got uh, like Bert <laughs> played golf shirtless a few times. Hmm. I mean, that's yeah. not a good look. That's <laughs> not a good look. No. Uh. No. Yeah, he's the party guy, you know, the party guy. You know, I mean, and, and that is a cute thing until you're this guy's age, and then it's not cute, and you're yeah. just you're suicidal, you know. Right. Yeah. Well, Bert's trying to, you know, change. I mean, he ran he ran a fucking half marathon. This I weekend. heard. I really was hoping he'd get hurt, but uh, he did finish. <laughs> he finished? Yeah, he finished in like a decent time, too. It's amazing. I know. I've never run anything like that. A half marathon? I would never do <laughs> it. No. Couldn't pay me. I mean, let's be honest, half marathon ain't shit. You know, okay, how many miles is it? Thirteen point one. That's a lot. No, it's not. It's a mar- marathons are what's up. You're running a okay. half marathon. Okay. 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 I mean, that's what I, you're I don't. About? I've never run thirteen cons- miles consecutively in a day. Have you? Hey man, let's play some half court basketball. Why? There's a full court here. Okay. I mean, we're doing halves now. Sounds like you're throwing down the gauntlet. I'm just saying that ain't shit. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> that's it. See what else he asked him. Damn. When Coach Lloyd took over, he says, you're going to lose at least 60, 70 pounds before you play for this golf team. And I weighed like one, I weighed like 230, maybe 235. God, well, eyes. and then in addition to that, you hated cigarettes at the time. Mm-hmm. But didn't he start you yeah, smoking he's, cigarettes? he used to smoke Marlboro Lights. And he said, just start smoking. Here, have a cigarette. <laughs> That's what idea. a coach told him. A coach told yeah. him to start smoking. His eyes are so puffy. Like, yeah. like you know what I mean? They look so he's, much yeah. bulgier, and it's just from toxins. Through it. Oh, yeah, man. This guy's really been like, through it. Like, the puffiness is really, the bloat. I mean, the yeah. guy is uh, so you know, bloated. I'm five, almost 5'11". Five I'm supposed to weigh 184 pounds in my height. I just don't see it. Um, I'm big boned. You know, I'm not a, a, I'm not a skinny bone. I have, I have somewhat big arms, big legs. It'd be hard for me to feel healthy at 184 pounds. Yeah. I've heard that before. I like how he cuts his bangs too. It's like what your mother used to put a bowl on your head and then cut around the bowl. Didn't you get a bowl cut? Of course. And did she 70s. do it with an actual bowl? My mother, no, my mother was a hairdresser. Oh, she was? So, oh, yeah. Before, I think in, in Canada, she was cutting hair and in the US. So she she knew, she went to cosmetology school. You've got to see this. You're going to die. Yeah. So this guy is outside a club and he sees alleged piece of shit R. Kelly. Mm. And this guy's got some mental problems, but he's like a big fan. So he. It's a conundrum. I didn't. Man, let me just say something. I started listening to music like about six or, six or seven years ago. When I was a kid, I played a lot of video games, okay? Mm. Okay, that's what I did more. You know, I mean, the music began. Sing a song, bro. I believe I can. Yeah, sing that. No, I can't. So he's got. He's. He had, you know. Yeah. He's art. He's touched. Autistic. Yeah. Artistic? Art. Yeah. Well, it's funny that you... Seriously, man, man, I can't sing. Any, anything, man, okay? I believe I can fly. 
I believe I could touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. So he's a better singer than I am. Well, yeah, and and here's the thing: with the, the big reveal is that spread her wings and fly he's singing away. That too, I believe Kelly. that you have. Oh my God. I believe that you're touching the sky. Oh my God. Smoking on that Percocet. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, where you going? Tell me what's next. <laughs> I believe that you blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, I guess he posted this. Hilarious. People were really mad because that fan that was just singing there is autistic. Yeah. And so, people got really upset that he was basically mocking him, saying that he's high. So then, okay. Now people want to say I'm making fun of people with autism. <laughs> totally not true. <laughs> autism. Autism. I, I I don't think he was making. I think he was laughing having with. Having fun. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah he I was mean, clowning the kid, but in a in a positive by the way, way. I don't all see these that big scandals. Mean. If you want, I don't have time to go into the full depth of it. Yeah. But if you really want to feel like somebody is allegedly a repugnant piece of shit, <laughs> yeah. you should read in depth yeah. about R. Kelly. Yeah. The case made for him being a horrific yeah. human being yeah. is pretty substantial. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like we're talking borderline or actually just go ahead and call it allegedly i have to keep saying that sure kidnapping yes i've heard uh, these stories like mind control taking phones away from people giving them orders of when they can bathe go to the bathroom set like and that and there's like it's not like once like as if that's you know right. not a lot but like many many cases of oh it's this. been over the years yeah. from what i've heard of, and and into he's into the 15 year old and, stuff yeah. and, and here's the other thing know, a whole bunch these are uh this is not like an underground thing. These are published things, but I've yeah. never seen nothing really. I mean, he did have a obviously that serious case that he beat, but then what I'm talking about is even since then, and it's documented in newspapers. Maybe he's nothing. maybe he's throwing some cash at it. I don't. Know. I'm sure he's throwing some cash now, at it. He's also I, throwing some cash at those rings. I, I was just necklace. gonna say, can I ask you something? Since yeah. I feel like you're more familiar with this culture than I am, what's the deal with black dudes wearing two? diamond earrings do you understand like i thought oh. one was cool but i thought two meant you're gay like that's gay in, oh no in no no black no, culture no no no, no, no. or in I any mean, culture no no it's all it's all about doubling up on it it's been that way for a while but i feel like um so like what kind of black guy wears the two earrings versus the one do you know what i'm saying well i mean the one thing i feel like hasn't been a thing in 25 years oh, really so yeah. it's been it's been two and i just haven't noticed yeah gotcha. and then like the bigger the diamonds are like the you know these dudes are just straight up stunting on people right now like those are <laughs> big at look at the size of those gorgeous yeah gorgeous and like some dudes um will buy the fake ones just because like who knows <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about this the other yeah. day. Yeah. You're like, the guy in the mall isn't wearing like real jewels. No. No. I didn't people, know that. I yeah, didn't like, know. If that. you go out and you see like people usually with crazy jewelry, there's a 99% chance <laughs> that it's fake, you know? Yeah. But then if you're R. Kelly and you have R. Kelly money, there's a, possi there's a possibility of two things. One, that he has the real thing, but like keeps it in a safe and uses it when he feels like this is a special event. And then he'll use the fake or that it's just always real, you know? I bet it's always real. This guy's got so much money. He's got a shitload of money. He's very talented. It's, yeah, he is. Yikes. He's very talented. Yeah. But like the double earrings thing. And I think especially. His teeth are nice. In the last 10 years, in the last 10 years, the, the fusion, the coming together of hip hop and pro sports has been about like and like when being flashy has become like more celebrated maybe the last 15 years um you see it a lot more you see double massive diamond earrings on <laughs> oh i've, I've you seen, seen it on, yeah you see it on rappers you know hip hop yeah. you know you see it on producers you see it on pro athletes now sure. the the athletes they don't wear it during the games do they there's been guys that wear usually you see necklaces during the game um like gold chains you know and and usually it'll pop out you know like in in football though after a play you can see sometimes the necklace falls out and then they tuck it back right. in uh earrings usually no that's a definite no but like then there's this football player julio jones who uh i guess he went he was wearing his 
crazy diamond earrings when he was out on a boat and lost them. <sighs> and then like Terrible. told people like, if you can get them for me, I'll give you this much money, you know, to return them. They were a hundred thousand dollar earrings. Oh my goodness. hundred grand on earrings. So I don't know what, you know, how many carats that is, but that feels like too much to spend on earrings personally. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It well, seems a little too much personally. Seems excessive. His teeth are so nice. I was nice, coming to a club the other night and, um, you know, I was tipsy and everybody else was tipsy. It was about four, well, two o'clock in the morning. That's what time the club closed. And there's a guy coming up to me like a fan, you know, and um, didn't seem like he had autism to me at all. He wasn't. He was. He, he you couldn't tell he was an artist at all. <laughs> I didn't think he had autism. Mm, wasn't dressing all creatively. Like, like an artistic guy. <laughs> artistic guys. I have all kinds of backgrounds. And um, I apologize to him if he did, but he he was pure drunk to me, and he was singing my songs. And you know, the security had to get him up off of me a couple of times because he was coming a little bit too close. But it was all good. You know, I welcomed the guy, played with the guy, joked with yeah. him like I do everybody. Yeah, that's what I saw. I actually saw it being in the spirit of him having fun with the kid. And, I believe. I mean, that you have. Yeah, he didn't have to like play with that guy. He was being fun. Yeah. That was cool. I thought it was cool as shit. Uh, give a guy a hundred dollars on the streets, and <clears throat> the next morning they say I gave him three dollars. <laughs> um, you know, it's just too much, guys. Yeah. You know, let me do my work. And um, it's obviously people trying to blackball me and destroy my career. I understand that, but you know. Mm. But then, just like our favorite lyricist, I got this one thing I say: I don't tell God about my problems. Mm. I tell my problems about my God. Okay. I love my fans. I thank y'all for supporting Kales. Continue to if you want to. To all of the haters, I love you because you inspire me. Mm. F the haters. F all the haters. Use them as fuel, inspiration. Or forgive all the haters. Forgive all the haters. Oh my God, I got to make that call. Okay. I got to make that call, Gene. Make that call. Make that call. Make that call. Make that call. Um, all right, we got to close out the show. Don't forget, huge sale. In the merch store, uh, Machines Within, Santa Claus stuff, Santa Claus wears jeans, hats, sweaters, uh, a bunch of stuff out. If you haven't seen Mother and Fury yet on Netflix, check it out. Christina P., her very first Netflix one-hour special. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you at the live shows. Anything else, Gene? No. Thank, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye, Gene. Meow. <laughs> be glassy. Jeans stay high and tight cause I never be sagging. All white lamb when I whip through the traffic. More moose soup, yep, thank you for asking. Terminator gun ain't shit, you can tell me. Always do it big like Burr Christ Pelly. F all the haters, don't fuck up my pronouns. These are zen, but I ask for it goes down. Before it goes down. You already know that my farts got the cream. Married my mom, got divorced in a week. Shout out to Ellis and shout out to Phoebe. Shout out to Bristol for ranking my shits. Come when I hug, tell a bye, then I dip. Get fucked by a ghost every time I do drugs. Stay holding my farts every time I make love. The fuck you doing, man? I got diarrhea, I got diarrhea. The fuck you doing, man? I got diarrhea, I got diarrhea. What the fuck you doing, man? I got diarrhea, I got diarrhea. Taking sevens all day. You feel me, know what I'm saying? I'm poly and bi. A fluid agenda, I can hardly decide. I'm poly and bi. A fluid agenda, I can hardly decide. I'm poly and bi. A fluid agenda, I can hardly decide. I'm poly and bi. Bumping your mom's house in a car when I ride.